Hey ho everybody, uh, I was not planning on making this video, uh, clearly because it's a Facebook Live and I uh, look a little scary, but uh, I was just reading the question we had in the group from a new person who is doing drop spinning and was having uh, drop spindle dropping issues from pre-drafting and so I thought I would get on here and um, kind of show you the difference I meant on fiber prep, so uh, bear with me because I do not have any of my usual stuff set up so this is my uh <laughs> this is actually the closest drop spindle i had which was the uh one i made from britney's blog, blog post on making your own drop spindle so uh <laughs> it's my diy drop spindle so uh like i said if you we do have a blog post about that hey squat down here awkwardly this is a it is dyed, but this is a Coradel. It's a little bit looser. So this is what I was talking about was it's not Merino, which Merino is more of a compact fiber. Um, so I believe the person who was spinning and having trouble said they were using a Coradel, which I love Coradel because it is a little bit more slippy. And this is also just one color. So, you know, you're not, like I said, in my course, I recommend pre-drafting a good bit because I feel like most people, uh, wait a second. Most people, I feel like when they start spinning, they probably purchased a braid. So, uh, here's one of ours, um, you know, at a shop or a course or something and, uh, not a course, a shop or a workshop or something back when we used to have events. And Merino's definitely, even though this is a Rambouillet, more compact and then this has been, multi-dyed so that's kind of this sort of thing i would definitely pre-draft more whereas more of a maybe single color or a different fiber breed or if it's just like natural fiber which i did not have laying around right here it's not going to be holding together as much so get your twist going and if i'm assuming so if you're new spinner you're probably loading up your twist and then sticking it under, you know, behind your arm or in between your legs. And then let the twist run in between your fingers. Like that. Till the twist runs up. The twist is the glue that is going to be holding your fiber together. So if it's breaking on you, you might need more twist. So let me wrap some of this on here. So if the drop spindle, if the fiber is breaking, which is what our friend was saying, if your fiber is breaking and falling, um, like just right there, see I wrapped too much, then it means you don't have enough uh, twist or maybe you pre-drafted too much. Because if you pre-draft this, you know, see really wispy like that, the fibers, if you don't, I mean, you could still technically just with your fingers, even something that wispy, if you get enough twist in it, and that's where you get the people that spin super fine, they're pulling it really wispy and then letting it catch. And that's where different weight spindles, so it also might be that your spindle was too heavy for the fine fineness <laughs> you were going for. Whereas this is a sort of a section of the same braid I just showed you, but see how it kind of is holding on to itself a little bit more. That's what I was talking about. So like I said, I'm usually, my course is geared towards people that I'm assuming this is probably what they have. And so I always recommend to kind of pull a strip off just, you know, so people have the fiber prepared, pull it into strips and then pre-drafting, I'm just loosening it. So, I mean, I'm not, you know, doing anything crazy, but you can even see just with me doing it that this is gonna kind of hold on to itself more. When I first started spinning, I pretty much twisted it down like that, and then I was getting twist in it, but I wasn't getting any draft, and so it was just ending up pretty much this thick, but just like a twisty mess. So that's, um, for something like this, I would maybe do more pre-drafting, but then if you have a really heavy spindle, you know, that might also not be helpful. So. That's what um, one of the comments was saying was just you kind of have to find that sweet spot. I'm just going to try to attach this. Of course, it's two different fibers. You just kind of have to find that sweet spot of uh, weight of spindle versus fiber type that you have. Hopefully this will attach okay. 
Ha, there you go. But see just that little bit of loosening it up is letting that twist go in there. And then that way, like I said, I'm just letting it go down to the floor at this point. But if you were doing the park and draft method, you would just get the twist in there and then stick it under your arm. So I hope that helps. Like I said, I just happened to have all of those laying around <laughs> where I was shipping stuff out. But like I said, so this was kind of, just see how that holds on to itself more just naturally than something like this, which would be more slippy. Uh, so that's, you know, my tip would just be look at what type of fiber you have, and then you might need more and or less uh, pre-drafting. So oh, I got to stand up. Back's getting a crick in it. So anyhow, that, that, that was what I had to say. So everybody had awesome awesome advice. So thank you. And I hope this video was helpful because I definitely don't want anybody to be trying to spin and being frustrated, even though being frustrated is kind of a natural part of learning how to spin like anything else. <laughs> so I don't know. Dee Dee, my youngest, is trying to learn to count to a hundred by ones and she's having a lot of trouble with that. So I guess spinning could be a lot like that. So anything that uh, you just got to keep practicing at. But I think that might be your, your problem is you're just using a different fiber than, um, you know, what I was assuming a lot of people were starting with. So I may need to actually go in and add like a asterisk <laughs> on that on pre-drafting. So I hope that's helpful.